24 players have arrived at Super Eagles camp in Pantamao, Portugal, ahead of the team's friendlies against Saudi Arabia and Mozambique. The Super Eagles camp opened, for the, um, opened on Tuesday, and the trio of Kelechi Hinacho, Fusayo Dele Bashiru, as well as Frank Onyeka, um, did hit camp on Wednesday. Now, there is, however, uncertainty over the arrival dates of goalkeepers along Lake Ojo, as well as Adebayo Adeleye. Um, Ose Pesero's side had their first training yesterday. They will have more training sessions today as they face Saudi Arabia tomorrow, Friday, October 13th, um, before clashing with Mozambique on Monday, um, on the 16th of October. Now, both friendlies are part of preparations for the Eagles for next month's 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Lesotho and Zimbabwe. So, I would see how the players fare in these friendlies and that would just probably be the template for the coach and his technical crew to implement going into the crunch ties against Lesotho and Zimbabwe for the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Now joining me to discuss this and more on the show is Aziz Oluyoko, a sports analyst. Aziz, good morning. It's good to have you on the show. Good morning, Samson. It's always a pleasure being on the show. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, let's start with, uh, before we delve into the Super Eagles, ju just in about 30 seconds, um, the calf draws are holding later this evening. What are your expectations? How, you know, tense are you considering Nigeria is in Port 2 and we may just have a very difficult draw? Most definitely. Um, you know, we are used to being in the Port on based on the people ranking and um, in recent years, you know, um, we've not been doing well. We've been out of the um, top, top, six, top six teams in Africa. So, you know, we don't have a choice but to be top um, in the pot two right now. But um, the saying that says if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. So I believe this will be the template for the Super um, the super Eagles right now. And we know that the NFL are trying in their capacity to make sure that the team is prepared psychologically um, for the nation's club. You know, they've actually, they've actually launched um, an hashtag now that let's do this again. This shows that um, the NFL is, uh, is actually planning ahead of time for the Super Eagles to win the fourth um, nation's club come um, January in Cote d'Ivoire. Okay, um, let's now turn our attention to um, the friendlies. Um, I heard talking about the international friendlies, and it's all about preparations for the big games in November, talking about the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Lesotho and Zimbabwe. Now, this has been an interesting, you know, um, selection by Ose Pesero for these friendlies. We've seen the return of Terry Murphy, Kenneth Omero, um, players who have um, seemingly been sidelined from the squad for some time. Um, they're back in the squad as a result of good form from their various club sites. Um, how do you think this, you know, helps um, Coach Pesero in terms of his preparations for, um, you know, the um, World Cup qualifiers? Because the saying is, you do not change a winning formula. Definitely, you don't change a winning team, just like they're all saying. For the coaches, this is a testament um, from the coach. It's actually a, a big call from the coach. It, it's sending out a warning that if you're doing good, if you're playing consistently and you're showing out good performance in your club side, it shows that you'll be rewarded with the national, uh, with the national team call. For. So it's, it's just in the hand of the player now to prove the coach right that, yes, we deserve this call off. And, and uh, there's no better team to test the water right now against um, uh, there's no better team right now to test these players with against um the, the Saudi Arabia and the Mozambique. You know, um, it's a great A friendly and this um, can actually cement some of the players' plays if they can show out, if they can prove the coach right, then trust me, uh, we have a good competition in our hand. And this is what we want, you know, our players doing well in the club side, then this will give us um, the opportunity to see what they can they can they can, they can do uh, uh, with the national team and also cement their players. Okay, um, let's look at the goalkeeping okay. position yes. now because that has been an area of concern for so many Nigerians over the years that we've not had a very good goalkeeper to replace um, the legend himself, Vincent Enyama, since he retired. Now, we've had, you know, goalkeepers come and go um, from the, the, the Super Eagle squad in recent years. Um, along Lake Ojo, we know quite well, as well as um, Olale, uh, Adele, rather, can make it to the um, you know squad and that's quite understandable because Israel is at war currently. Now we had a surprise inclusion yesterday with Maduka Okoye from Udinese making a return to the side. Um, it wasn't in the initial call-up um, squad but as a result of um, the other goalkeepers not being able to hit camp um, is now with the squad. 
how do you think we resolve the goalkeeping crisis we have? Considering the four play, um, goalkeepers we've seen in recent years, from Francis Uzal down to Madoka Okoye, you talk about, you know, along Leke Ojo as well as Adele. Are these the best goalkeepers we have? Is there a need for us to go scouting again? What exactly do you think can be the best solution when it comes to Nigeria's goalkeeping crisis? It's so fortunate that um, Super Eagles is actually facing a goalkeeper crisis right now. In recent years, we've seen um, a uh, we've seen Vincent Yama, you know, giving us that confidence that yes, we have the last man on the spot. Even though I you know at a point and EZG was actually giving in um, that competition, but Vincent Yama was so dominant that no no goalkeeper can actually move. But in recent years, you know, we've been chopping and removing, replacing keeper from Francis. So everybody thought he, he, he came into into the Super Eagles quite young. Everybody thought he would nail it after Vincent Yama retired. Then we, we, then um, the was so invited. But it's so unfortunate. I think at this point, it's so unfortunate that Adela couldn't even make the call of you. We, we wish him um, the best in Israel right now. We know the crisis in, in Israel actually prevented him from, from eating the camp. Mm -hmm. So we, we need a consistent goalkeeper. And this has to do with the collaboration between the coach and also the goalkeeper coaches. I believe the goalkeeper coaches are the ones um, to give the right advice, you know, um, to the to the to the coach and the technical crew for them to bring in someone that we can have that confidence. You know, in the years of Kesho Romo, um, Peter Rufai, you know, we, we are so confident that yes, even though if the defense is failing, then the last man of the sport can actually give us something to share about. But it's so unfortunate that in recent years now we've been having this difficulty and I hope that this can be resolved easily. If we need for us to extend invites to other goalkeepers that are doing great in the club size, then um, what we need is just competition. You know, we having two, three goalkeepers that are in top form won't be a bad idea for us to be in the Okay, um, finally, let, let's look at you know the matches ahead now. Saudi Arabia, um, not really a top side, Mozambique as well, not a top side, but the friendly matches and all to get the players in tune with the coach's you know, tactical setup before they link up with your various club sides and, you know, the World Cup qualifiers comes along. So the question is, what are you expecting from these friendlies and how do you think Ose Pesero should, you know, approach these games, especially with an eye on the World Cup qualifiers in less than four weeks? Um, a lot of people are not really excited about the friendly match in um, Saudi Arabia, but personally, I am really excited. The reason being that um, in recent years now, we've seen that uh, the Saudi Arabian government has actually invested in the clubs. This will actually change the mindset of this player. Just like um Al Ilal as starting players. We have our former players when he's playing the day. One of one of one of the starting players in, in the Southern Red squad right now scored against Argentina in the world at the World Cup. Mm -hmm. You know they have to figure out that we defeated the world the world champion in their first game at the last World Cup. So um uh, they have the likes of uh, um, Al Nasser we wish Cristiano Ronaldo actually plays for as I have eight players in this team. Trust me, um, there's this psychological shift in this in, in the Saudi Arabia players that yes, we have the top players, you know, the likes of Mares, the likes of Ingulukante, Karim Benzema, they're all playing in Saudi Arabia. And I believe that this will actually change um, it to be in the favor of the Saudi Arabia players. They have this mindset that we are training with the world class player, and I'm sure they've um learned one or two things from this top eight play, eight, eight class player from from different from different nations. So personally, I think this is the best. Um, uh, this, the Saudi Arabians will actually give us a good fight because that's that that um, advantage or that psychological advantage that we defeated the world champion will be there for them. And I don't think they will be scared going into this friendly match. We just need to do well in this game so that so as to improve our our, our FIFA our FIFA rankings. rankings. You know, okay. We are not actually doing good right now. Okay, we would hope that the players in the camp are able to make Nigeria proud over the course of the two friendly matches. Thank you so much, Aziz Olioko, for your time on the show this morning. Thank you, Samson, for having me. Thank you.